Hey, what is up guys? Today we're gonna be playing some old school RuneScape in high detail. Do any of you remember this login screen? This is from like 2008 and a lot of people have requested this, like the, you know, moving background while you are logging in. And as you can see, the graphics are way improved. And no, this is not a private server. This is old school RuneScape, but on a new client called OSHD. You know what? Let's just log into the game. I want to show you something. So this is how it, oh no, I'm not, oh, I can just teleport. Oh yeah, so this is Grand Exchange, but I want to show you Zelda. See the, um, it has bloom, like the fire is, um, oh, I can't even move my mouse properly, but it, it has, uh, you can see the lighting as well at, uh, at my body, like this side is normal, but because of the fire, this side is like glowing, you know, and, and on his body as well. Now the animations are also changed, so when you're walking, you're gonna be walking a little bit differently. I'm not sure if you can toggle that, but I like it. Some people may not like it. I think when you're doing the dance emote, it shows the new one, which I think a lot of people Wait, is this? Yeah, I chose the... It's the new one from like 2008 when it was changed. So I, again, I'm not sure if you can toggle that off or on, but you're not going to see like the old school dancer mode. But look how how nice everything is. Like just the scenery, you know, it's... I, it's like not you're not even playing old school. Now, I haven't played on this client too much, but on a loading screen, I could see Zolera, and I, th I was just blown away how nice it looked, how smooth the animations were. So we're gonna go into the layer now, and look how it's gonna come out. Look, I I'm not sure if you can see this in the video, but the animations are so smooth of everything, not just Zelda, of of how you use the trident and how you shoot these things. Look at how clouds look like. They're transparent. You know, they're not like uh, how you usually go. I actually don't remember how, how they look like. But like the whole room, look, you can see so far away. It actually puts you into this um, as if you, you know, you know what I mean? This is Karamja and this is standard mode. As you can see, the ground kind of looks. Oh, wait, what happens to these squares? Because you can clearly see that this is like way more brown. And but do they fix the problem if we go and select high detail? And they do, they, they do fix the problem. You, you can no longer see squares like plain squid. Wow, the, I actually did not notice that. That's but wait, 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 let's go back to the standard detail and look at the water. Uh, it's it's plain water, okay, it's play, it's runescape, you know, it's plain water and it's actually lagging a little bit. I don't know, it's not as smooth. It's not lagging, but it's not as smooth. So I'm gonna go back to high detail so I can get my smoothness back and the water looks amazing. It's moving a little bit as well. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. It's, it's right there. It's like the whole ocean. Look how nice the whole place looks like. Damn. So I moved a little bit west from the water, and I'm really curious to see how this lava is going to look like, because I'm not sure if I showed you the loading screen of the Tazar place, but it looked amazing. But this looks just too plain. Can you fix this? High detail. Okay, it's it's bright. Uh, is is it too bright? I, I can't I can't even tell. Uh, you can turn bloom off actually. Let's try to do that bloom on. Uh, let's turn it off and maybe. Well, that that is definitely an improvement if you like it that way. I'm not saying bloom is too bright, but maybe in, in this case, what was it too bright? L let's put it back on. I mean, it's pretty bright, but. Uh, I, I mean, I can get used to that. Let's go down here because it also has lava. It's a different kind because I guess it's underground. But uh, again, all the lights and it, it, it shines in your face, like covers half of your body. And then, you know, bats are flying. You can see the shadows, uh, the shadow animations, which you cannot see on a regu regular client. Wait, let's go back to standard mode and it looks just plain. It's just plain orange. I mean, what can I say, really? It just looks beautiful. The player models as well. Uh, these guys are walking around. I want to see if there's anything different in the fight caves. Uh, there's no... Oh, we have lava in here as well. I mean, it, it definitely is improved. Now, you may notice that I can see way far away because, like, you couldn't see so far away on a regular client. That is because you can go to OSHD settings and you can uh, select right here there is view distance. So you can put it right here. You can see I cannot see as far away and you can put like to the maximum so you can see way. But I'm pretty sure if you walk too far away, you're not gonna be able to see monsters even though they are there. So no, yeah, right there it's just gone. So you will not get 
advantage at killing Jad or anything. You will not be able to see it, but it's still nice to see far away. Oh, you can teleport out of fight caves. That's interesting. What if you have a ring of life? Well, you can just, oh my God. You can just teleport out like that. Uh, you can also notice that there are items on the floor. So this client also has like text over. This this was like my main thing. Okay, here we have Callisto. This is the regular animation, by the way. You can see it's kind of lagging, but it's not attacking me for some reason. You see, that, that was not really, not something that I would call smooth. And I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit as well. This is Callisto. Oh, this, that's a big beer, but... Okay, that was the full animation right there. That's right. One more. One more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that smoothness, man. That smoothness. I I'm genuinely... I know the graphics are really improved. Like, you can see the lava and all that. But the animations, for me, it just seals the deal, really. Let's see how Cerberus looks like. Because it has just so many flames. It should be looking really amazing on this client. And... This is, by the way, regular client. Okay, this is not the HD. Let's turn the HD mode on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I told you. I told you the fires, the the bloom from the lava, the eyes of the skull as well. And just everything. The, like this atmosphere, you know? This is welcome to Cerberus. This looks menacing. Okay, this room looks really spooky. The lava flowing from these pipes as well. Just noticed. Just these tiny little details that when you make them in, in, enhanced, it just makes the whole difference. Wait, if I put back to standard detail, okay, still, I mean, you can see this thing, but just plain. Wait, I just noticed if you look at the Cerberus itself, the lava, it's it's happening here as well. But uh, you can see some, uh, what, what is that? It's not supposed to be there. You see these lava things, but that guy is huge. Oh my God. It's not even fitting in the screen because I zoomed in so much. And you can see the shadows on the floor as well just moving. And I'm wondering what about the chat heads? Those were also improved apparently. This guy looks very awesome from that uh, green glowing thing from its mouth. or w What is that? Damn, this is so improved. Unfortunately, I cannot get cl too close to these, but you can see the, the smoke that is coming out. Uh, but it has this box. I don't think it's supposed to be that way, but uh, these definitely look very, very nice. What about the side itself? It's uh, glowing as well. It makes it look much more menacing. I cannot get too close to the sire, unfortunately, but I want to see the smooth animations off because as far as I remember, you see that? You see what I mean? I hope that you can see this properly, this thing especially. Damn, it's pumping so weirdly compared to this. Yeah, the smoothness is back. Oh, yes. And because this client really improves fires, it also improves Phoenix pets. When you are flapping the wings, you can see there is this bloom effect happening. They are leaving this... Uh, oh, there we go. That's that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. You see that thing that they leave? And I noticed that the well, how these the the fires in the winter tod also look very nice, like uh, green color. And this is how Barbarian Assault looks like. Uh, the water, you can see the detail. That is the fishing spots here. And because you have such a far distance view, you can see like even the lighthouse ground. And here we have a bunch of plugins. And my most important one is the loot display. As you can see, obviously you can see items on the floor, but can you put items in your preferred list? You know that purple text that I really like? Apparently you can. There is a highlight mode that says clue scroll. So we gonna try to put in coins and I want to see how exactly it displays when I drop them on the floor and it shows well it shows the purple text I'm pretty sure you can hide the amount as well oh it's right there show quantities nope disable that because I don't like that and boom there we have it but as you can see the text is really small I can barely read it and I may not notice it but it seems that you can increase it by making biggest and it now looks normal if not bigger than it should be let's imagine you are in a field and you're doing a slayer task and you have goblins and you have giant spiders somewhere walking oh there we go but you only want to kill giant spiders because that's your task but it's kind of hard to see maybe uh, you know you have a bunch of other monsters in here as well so you can use hitbox drawer and if you type in giant 
spider, it will uh, draw this thing so you can uh, see it much more clearly. Oh, I completely missed it. It's fill entity hitboxes. Just check that. And now it's suddenly very clearly visible with the color choice of yours. You see how many spiders there are? I, I just saw two of them previously because they just so blend in in the environment. Don't mind me just waking up in Inferno. Uh, I love how zoomed in, how nice the graphics look like when they zoomed in. And we are about to see some animations as I'm about to get hit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm on my laptop at the moment, so I know that I sound different. I cannot fix anything at the moment. My uh, main PC, uh, let's just say, hopefully it's going to get fixed soon. But for now, you're going to have to listen to this voice. Another thing on this client that I really liked is when you cast an ice barrage or ice blitz or anything that is movement restricted. Oh, this guy died too fast. So let's say if I cast an ice blitz on this guy, you can see there is a tiny timer below its health. And that is how long it's going to stay frozen. And that is so, that could be so beneficial for like PVP. And uh, I, I think this kind of timer should have been in RuneScape since the very beginning, you know. So you don't need to guess like how long the target is going to be frozen. Especially if you, uh, you know, if you're like entangling your enemy. And if he's protecting from magic, you don't know if it was a full entangle or just half, but the timer will just tell you. Now, I'm not sure if this is enabled by default, but they also have custom cursors. So if you're casting something like a spell, you can see that it shows uh, a spell near the whatever you clicked. You know, it's custom. So if you could go for ice barrage, it's going to show ice barrage on the cursor. So you know exactly what you clicked because maybe you misclicked or something. We have a lot of stuff happening in Inferno. There is this light in the middle and there is all kinds of shadows coming from these pillars. And there's like darker areas in here. And it's just a combination of shadows and lights. And you, you have bloom from the lava as well. Like this whole place looks really nice. And this is where you really benefit from zooming out a lot, like increasing your view distance as well. So if you zoom out like, like this, you don't really need to move your screen that much. Especially when you're killing like three jads, you really want to see all of them at the same time, you know? This is something that should have been implemented in official client. Okay, this is this one weird setting. I'm pretty sure people will find uses for this. It's very, very interesting. At the bottom, there is press alt to hide NPCs, press alt to hide players, press alt to hide interfaces. Oh, you can actually, I'm going to turn that off. So whenever I click alt, look what's going to happen. You see all of these monsters walking around? Boom, gone, gone. It's, it's like very interesting, but I don't know where you would use something like this, but, but you can do that. Maybe if you're making a video, you could go to settings and turn this on as well. And now you don't even see interfaces. So you have this nicer scenery. You know, there's you don't need to zoom in or anything. You don't need to zoom out too much. So whenever you're playing RuneScape, you can feel like you're in your own private world. You cannot see other players. Though I guess if they're going to be like attacking any of these monsters, you would be able to see that they're getting attacked by something. Oh, okay. This is what happens. You cannot see a person, but you can see the prayer above their head and health. If I turn it on, off, on, off. If you are a hardcore Iron Man, take a look at this setting. If you search for HP, that is a combat alerter that notifies you whenever your HP goes below certain amount. So if it goes below, let's say 50%, I will hear a sound. Now, unfortunately, I cannot display this because it will not record any in-game sounds, but it starts beeping just once. But the more you get hit, it starts beeping again. So you can hear. If you're like AFK Slayer on your hardcore Iron Man, you know that whenever you hear a beep, it's below 50% or below 20%. Now let's go back to Grand Exchange. Oh, pile of salt. You never saw that. I, I Somehow I found this weird item on Grand Exchange, okay? I was looking for something and you can actually, these items exist, like pile of salt. Like, I, I don't know how many of them are traded. I don't think anyone knows about such items. So let's say you want to buy a rune play buddy. You're going to type in rune plate. You're going to select it right here and on the side, do you remember this? You can see stats of items. Anything that you buy that has stats, it will show right here that is missing from official RuneScape client. So many people have suggested this, like, please add this while it's added in this client if you want to use that. It's very, like, it even shows like the quest requirements, the defense requirements, if you have it. 
it's in green if you don't have it it's in red okay let's try twisted bow it's gonna show statistics again but what if you try something that doesn't give you like uh i don't know something like uh bandos page uh what, what happens to these items Oh, it still shows something. It shows high ALK value and low ALK value. And I think that's about it. If you want to check out the client, I'm going to leave it in the video description and you can test everything for free. All you have to do is go to free to play worlds and all settings, all plugins, HD graphics are going to be free. 